everybody. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on C++ and DirectX. And uh, basically, I'm just going to teach you basics of C++, uh, Windows 32 programming, DirectX. Uh, I'm sort of learning DirectX myself. I've done um, OpenGL before. But I decided that I wanted to move to DirectX because it would be a lot easier and beneficial for me uh, since I'm using 132 and uh, it's really hard to get some uh, OpenGL stuff done 132 when you're not using a wrapper like uh, GLUT or SDL. So um, yeah, so you're gonna want to fire up your uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition and go to a new project go to Win32 project and you're gonna name it whatever you want, I'll just name it tutorial 1 Win32 save wherever you want um, hit OK and then you're gonna get this window right here sit next and the next window make sure Windows application is selected under application type select empty project and hit finish and now you should get this solution over here. It's going to say the name of your uh, project. Then you're going to have a bunch of folders that they organize for you. And uh, we're going to add a file called main.cpp. So that would be a source file. And .h would be header files. .rcs would be resource, but we don't need to worry about resource yet. So go ahead and right click. Yeah, right click uh, source files, add and then new, select cpp and just name it, I'll just name it main.cpp. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create a basic window for just this tutorial. So this is just a, just a basic window, not like filled with mini bars and stuff, just a blank white window with uh, nothing basically in it yet since this is our first tutorial. So first we have to include a couple of things and I'm just going to include windows.h and oh oops we forgot to create uh, you need to create main.h I find it I'm going to make a more I don't know I guess less uh, messy way because if you cram everything in one file then it's just going to be a bunch of code and it's going to be hard to read so I just like to make my code as small as possible so just copy and paste that and include windows.h and that's just the standard uh, windows library or uh, header file where you get all the windows functions and um, yeah just include that for now and also go back to main.h my oopsies my bad um, just need to tab this. Okay, that's cool. Usually there's a tab option, but just open main.h, and we're gonna ex type in extern hwnd all caps, and then h capital wnd. What this is is extern is like uh, we're making it possible so that we could use it in other. Uh, other files and other header files because sometimes in uh, Visual C++ when you use say I have this into uh, say I have this in main.cpp and I made another source file called like blah blah blah.cpp and I put this you'll get an error because there's a duplicate there's two of them and you can't have two of the same ones so if you use extern it allows it tells a compiler that you're going to use it m or multiple times so and this is uh, a handle type just like in if you've uh, programmed before which I assume it's the different uh, types are int uh, there's or variable types are int um, there's char for a character um, there's float double this is basically one of them just for windows and it stands for a window handle and it's going to handle all the stuff that obviously uh, the window is going to be in excuse me I just had a little burp and um, what else are we going to have in here? 
I'll just pop my head while I go. So right now we're just gonna include that main.h so we could oh, so we could use everything in here and the compiler knows we're using inform that information. And the first thing we're gonna do and first thing you do in every uh, programming language is you make the entry point for the program so where the program starts reading its code. In this case it's gonna be int win api and then win main i know most of them are main but this is win main and we're going to do h instance for the handle the handle instance and we're just going to name it h instance capital i on that another parameter is going to be the same except it's going to be h previous um third one is i believe lp str and it's going to be LP CMD line and int and CMD show is the last one. You don't really have to worry about that. Those are just the four basic parameters that the win main function takes. Uh, I think the only one we're really going to use is this one that you're going to see. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start off by just defining the message variable here first. Not, we're going to use that later, but I'm just going to define it here. And the next thing we have to do is create the Windows class so it knows what to put in the window, like what types of, uh, if you want it to be a window that you can maximize and minimize, if you want it to be a window that you can, like, uh, what is it? Yeah, maximize and minimize if you want to, you know, be let the user uh, adjust it or not, stuff like that. Um, so we're just going to create wind class x which stands which is a newer form of the windows class the old one was just one class x is a newer form and then wc so wc and then dot and then you see all these we're gonna have to fill them out um cls extra i don't think we need that size uh we're gonna do is going to equal size of and then windows class <coughs> wc dot wind i don't think we need to worry about those background is going to be so it's h brush and then get stock object which is the function and we're going to make it light gray brush so the window is going to be light gray. This one's blue, but ours is going to be light gray, like the default window. The other one, um, cursor, is just going to be default cursor. Uh, it's going to, it's asking for, just put null for the uh, instance, and uh, the cursor name is IDC uh, arrow. So default arrow right here, as you can see and close that next we're going to do the icon pretty easy same thing functions load icon null and the icon name is idi application so the default like windows application you see with the little square i don't think i have something uh one sec no i don't i don't have one of those um And then next is the instance, which is obviously H instance. So H instance, which is going to handle all that. Oopsies, forgot the N. Next one is class name. And that's just going to be, let's name it D3, D3D for direct uh, X3D. And yeah, see we're getting an error here because you have to mess with the settings. So just once you go to under project, go to properties, go to general, and make it multi-byte character set, hit apply, and that'll just uh, solve that. Or else you'd have to go and use text and do that for every single uh, string. So that just solves that. And the last one is style. And um, I believe it's 
just going to try and get it off the top of my head. I think that's it, yeah. And that's done for the Windows class. So basically, right now I'm just setting up the Windows class. What I usually do, like I told you, uh, so it's not just a bunch of code. I usually just put into a class, but we're not going to go into classes the very first tutorial. I'll probably do in the second tutorial. And you'll find it'll be a lot easier because we're just going to add a bunch of code. And it's going to get really confusing, so just a bunch of code. So next thing we want to do is this just error checking for errors and we're <coughs> the exclamation mark means like if it isn't and we're going to use a function register class x so if the class doesn't register so if this fails we want to let the user know it failed and we're just going to do message box and you're going to do null because there's no window created um, the text you want to give them is error window cannot register class so telling them that they can't register class the caption which is the top like when you get a message box it's usually just a small box and then a message inside something at the top like up here and we're just going to write error and a uint type would be like what basically what buttons do you want we're just going to have an ok button so it would be mb ok return 0 to close it and then we're good with that <coughs> so next thing we're gonna do is create the window the actual window so up here remember how I told you we could use this anywhere right now we only have one file so it doesn't really matter but like I said when I use classes I'm going to go in further like making this more efficient we're gonna use more source files and more header files so this will be efficient but for now just write HNW HWND for a window handle <coughs> and then just write the same thing equals and then use a create window function which is going to create our window it's asking for the class name which is d3d so we can link it there window name will do direct x engine tutorial number one style we're going to have it ws overlapped window which basically stands for a window that <coughs> has all these buttons you can minimize maximize and you can move around and so it's not a child window so like this would be a child window because it's attached to this big window so we just want the window by itself uh, we want it to be visible and uh, I think that's it yeah I think that's it um, the X and Y of where you want the window up here so I'll just put zero zero so it's gonna start here and then the width and the height we'll just make it 800 by 600 for now you could mess with that if you want next parameters are just null null h instance or instance field and null <coughs> and now again we're gonna do error handling for this so if the window does is like doesn't get created success successfully. We're gonna give them an error. So if it isn't created, message box no error cannot create window. Again, error. So because sometimes even when I'm testing my code, I mess up a little and then if you don't have a message box you don't know where you messed up so this is helpful for you just in case because sometimes you mess around with code and you mess around with something and like say your this won't pop up or the class won't register how would you know like if it's this or that if which like what the error is you obviously need something telling you so that's why I put message boxes so then when you see a message box you go straight to that section you could find the error and um, <coughs> we're just going to go to main.h <coughs> excuse me um, extern a boolean value this time and name it process and we're going to just declare the boolean here processed equals false what we're going to do is while isn't process so while the boolean is false we're just going to run this while loop to keep the window open 
and um this is always the trickiest part uh i always um get messed up with this but it's basically i think it's if peak message and it's going just going to ask for a bunch of values um message would be end message no i guess no no um <coughs> to be honest i'm kind of confused here so i'm just going to quickly google it because i know so it was somewhat right kind of messed up so i think it's while well, peak message and it's just checking for messages um if and then this is checking if the message is equal to so if the person wm quit which is if they hit the X button then just close everything so it's going to keep running until the user closes it basically it's going to keep running until the user closes the window um, <coughs> I'm just going to save and test this uh, might get error I might have forgot something so Let's see error connect create class hmm. I know I missed something. Oh, very noobish mistake. So, you need a Windows procedure function. Forgot that. My bad. I uh, just woke up, so. Um, you need to create a Windows procedure function, which is what I'm doing now. And it basically handles all the procedures the, Windows goes, the window goes through. So, it takes four parameters again. Uh, the window handle, so just do that. Um, U in, which is going to be message, W param, and L param. And quickly, we're just going to make a switch statement, so switch message, and use case statement, so case WM destroy. So when the, if they if the window is being destroyed, we're just gonna call this post clip message function to close the window. Break default. Break. And then we had ask to return a value. So close brackets and return def window. just the values up here so just the second one so we're gonna re return message w param and now it should work and we're just gonna test it cannot register class why are you being stupid so um yeah testing for the third time Obviously, I forgot to set the zero memory. Forgot this line, so I guess it was just tripping out. So I cut a few things out, as you can see. I cut the icon out because I don't think that really mattered. Um, just switch stuff around, and I think it was mainly this line I was missing that was making it freak out. So now, if we run it, you should just get a basic window. See, it has the name. You can move it around, that's what overlapped window is, and you could close it. So that's our while loop. So basically the while loop runs through here and it's just waiting for them to hit the X button. When it does, it sends a message to them quick, closes the window, and that's our tutorial. Um, I'll probably make another one very soon. Um, please comment, rate, su subscribe if you have any questions. Uh, just uh, message me on my YouTube account, and uh, yep, enjoy.